Defenders. Uh, just finished watching the, well, I ain't gonna say just, I actually finished it last night. Binge watched the entire uh, Defenders. Uh, yep, that's what I did yesterday. Uh, um, here's my take on it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have any spoilers. Uh, so, you guys, if you haven't seen it, you know, then you're safe. Oh my bad, I got some hair off my chin and uh, I might have some like water bubbles in my chin, but it's all good. Uh, yeah, I, I finished watching Defenders and I, for me, I'm gonna just say right off the top, it was probably like right in the middle for the Marvel Netflix shows. Uh, I don't know what didn't connect with me as much as I want to, because I wanted it to be great, uh, but I felt like it was good and not great. Um, I, I, I think it might have been a story that kind of threw me off. Uh, and, 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 and how it started, it kind of started, first episode was kind of slow. And as you're looking for the nights of May, and they got the opening scene is pretty, pretty good. Uh, and as far as that goes, but I think you know, generally it, it kind of slows up because I think it's pretty much showing you where everybody's at in their, in their life uh, and what they're doing at that moment. You know, also another thing, I honestly believe this script was written after Iron Fist. Either that or it was written before Iron Fist and they already knew where they was going. It's kind of like the whole MCU thing where they knew exactly where they was taking these characters from the very beginning. With that being said, I kind of feel like Iron Fist got a lot of focus. He was focused on a lot in this uh in this, you know, this series. Also, another thing I was, I would say is, uh, it seemed at the beginning it seemed like Luke Cage was in a completely different show than everybody else. Daredevil's tone was like completely different from everybody else's. It, I'm not gonna. It's, it wasn't bad because it, it ended up meshing into where you understood it. it. You understood why Daredevil was in this certain like tone and everything, and you understood. Because I was thinking, like, I see where everybody, I'm, I'm connecting the dots everywhere. But I'm trying, I'm just like, where does Luke Cage dot connect into this? And then it finally did, and it made perfectly good sense. Uh, simply because of the fact that which he, what he was involved in, what he was trying to prevent uh, in, in Harlem. So, you know, it, it, ultimately, you know, it made more, a lot more sense to me. Now, what I would, uh, let me just talk about probably my dislikes. Uh, I didn't like the main villain, uh, the 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 initial main villain. T to me, they kind of took like a a, a Luke Cage uh, type thing with uh, one. They give you one villain, and then by the end of the show, there's another. Uh, but I th I think they did it better than they did it in Luke Cage because it's just like, and Luke Cage was like kind of mouth. Boom, kill our cotton mouth. We have another guy. We have a, what's his name? At the end. So I was like, they, they did it better than that. You know, I would say that. Uh, what else? Dan, I, the one thing I was hoping they did was put Danny Rand in his like suit. Uh, simply because, this, here's my whole thing on that. I think the stuff he says will make a lot more sense. Or or I, I could, I, I would, not say believe it, but I, I'll be like, okay, I get it. He's dressed like this, so, so what he's saying pretty much makes because he still says the same stuff. I'm the immortal Iron Fist. Like I'll just be like, dude, oh my god, this guy's gonna tell this to every single person here, like ever. And it's like every time I say here, Danny Rand, it's like. He hasn't even, he still hasn't earned, I don't even, I, even to me, it's like, he still hasn't earned the name Iron Fist. Everybody still calls him Danny Rand. I, I, adapt the name Iron Fist. Everybody, that's what he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be the superhero Iron Fist, not Danny Rand. I always incorporate him with Danny Rand. Um, what else? Um, I, I, I think that might be the only thing. I, I kind of thought like the story was like, I ain't gonna say choppy, but like it was not predictable either, but in the, in the 
sense it kind of was. Uh, I didn't like the story as much. I didn't think it, it, it was, it was a, as good a, of a story as, uh, let's say, uh, Jessica Jones or Daredevil, you know what I'm saying? Or even the first half of Luke Cage. Uh, and to be honest, Iron Fist had a pretty good story. It's, it, it, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let me scratch that. Scratch that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't never gonna have a problem with the story. I just feel like there, there's there's ways they probably could have did that story a little better. Uh, but ultimately, it was, it was still like like I said. I think this is probably my only complaints with it. Uh, but like I said, overall, I, I, I like the series. I like the uh, series, and I thought it was good. Uh, the stuff I there was a few things I should did like a lot of the action scenes. I like uh, it was the way how. Daredevil and, you know, Luke K, not Daredevil, Daredevil and uh, the Iron Fist. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get in the habit of calling him Iron Fist, too. Uh, it's like how they fought compared to how Luke Cage and Jessica Jones fought. Because there was even a moment in the series where Jessica, Jessica Jones was like, am I the only person who doesn't know Kung Fu? And, like, she, she's just fighting with, like, brute strength. And, you know, she has no... There's no choreography when Jessica Jones fight. It's just like straight punches or she's throwing you like there. It's maybe a kick or two, but it's like brutal. And Luke Cage is like, I can sit here and take punches all day. So this is, nothing's hurting me. But there was a time where he fought with one guy and it was like pretty nice. And I, the way it was, and his, oh, the, 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 the fight between him and uh, Iron Fist, was, that was really good because it was funny. Because you see the you see the contrast between the two fighters, how Luke Cage fights and how the Iron Fist fights, and it's it's so funny because the Iron Fist is doing these little flips and kicks and shit, and it's not doing a damn thing to Luke Cage. He's just not like, dude, what the fuck is you doing? And he's trying, it's like he, this big guy just trying to grab him or punch him. It's it's, it's funny. Uh, there there's a, there's a few significant fight scenes uh, that, that I think you'll enjoy. The one in the hallway. That, what's up with them in the hallway scenes that I think about it? There's one in the hallway in the building. Uh, one uh, underground. Uh, there's one in the room with just the four of them. There's one in this uh, this restaurant. Damn, they had a lot of, the more I think about it, there's a lot of fight scenes. And I did that. They all put it like stand out, you know, uh, it, it was like some fluent stuff between a lot of the characters uh, and, and like the people of the hand uh, all in it too, as well and they had some pretty nice stuff. Oh yeah, there was another scene. Wow, there's there's a lot of fight scenes and I think all the fight scenes were done pretty good. Uh, we didn't have like one of those epic one shots like you had in like Daredevil. Uh, I don't think you really get too many of those. I think Daredevil had like two of those. Uh, the one in season one and the one in season two. The one in season two was like some, probably like one of the best fight scenes that I've ever seen. Uh, those two uh, and like the fight scene from uh, uh, Thomas Blunt, if you had anybody seen that, that fight scene in that hallway, you know what I'm saying? It was like, we don't think we ever had anyone like that, you know, because it's four people. And that was, I probably think that's another thing is like, it took a while for them to connect the four of them together, but when they did, I think the show really, really picked up. I think they probably should have uh, took less time to connect them, but it made sense in why they did it like that uh, and, and didn't rush it, rushing them just, hey, oh, we just met, uh, because like they meet and then it's like they set, it's like certain ones meet and then they separate and the other two meet to separate, then ultimately they end up still winding up all back together. And the chemistry they had between each other was uh, off the charts. I really like the chemistry between uh, Danny Rand and Luke Cage. Uh, I think the standout for me, though, of this entire... Well, and then you have the chemistry between Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. Uh, you, you you have some, like, some animosity between Daredevil and Luke Cage. Uh, I think the one person who pretty much was pretty much connected and pretty much the standout of the entire show for me was Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones was part of the best part of this whole series. I, everything she said, everything she did, the way she acted, you can tell like she really didn't want to be a part of this and it's like 
she was she's who she is in her show. She's like this this drunk who really don't give a shit and just completely different and out of whack with everything. But like she dove into some deep character moments in this uh, in the series as well though. So that they gave up, they gave off a lot. And the fact that every time uh the Iron Fist spoke and we all know how he talks, he talks like in third person and it's just like he's like this ancient guy and she's just like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like that was nice. I think Danny Rand had a pretty good chemistry with uh with other people, but you really can tell simply because of the highest character is. But that's not like a bad thing. Like you tell, okay, this is how his character is, so this is how he talks in general. But he's the, the crazy thing. He's the person trying to bring everybody together, but nobody really was like down with it. And then you have Daredevil, who I think he, he had like the animosity between him and Luke Cage was good. Uh, the stuff he he want he want the sense of uh, feeling of being a leader. Uh, also, the stuff between him and Jessica Jones was great as well. Like, she's one looking like, how the fuck you able to do all this shit and you blind? Like, it's annoying me. Like, that, like, it's great. Uh, of course, we all know Electra's in it. Uh, she plays a pretty big part in it. I thought she was pretty good, uh, especially towards the end. Especially towards the end. Now, you see, like, a lot of, you know, the purpose and, and, and everything like that. Uh, but it's, it's kind of like, I feel like, uh, Iron Fist didn't do that good, so we're gonna have to try to make this story because it's kind of like centered around him. And I'll actually rather if you if you watch it, if you watch it, you know it's pretty much centered around him uh, and something he they want him to do. So, and I think that uh, in, in a way it kind of seemed forced. Uh, I, it just seemed kind of forced, uh, but but. I don't think I'm. I don't think the story was necessarily what I, what I enjoyed the most. I think you know the the bond, the, con, the connection that they grew between each other. I think that was probably the best part. Um, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's, it's on eight episodes. It's a lot shorter. You can get through it in a, a night. You know, it, believe me, you get through it in a night. And the, all episodes are like an hour long. Some of them, some of them like most. Of them, I think most of them are like actually forty five minutes. So you can get through it pretty quick. Uh, you gonna like it for the action, the connection between the two, the, the like the back and forth, the quick line, quickly one liners, uh, the the deaths, <laughs> people die in these shows. If I know MCU, people die, and they take some brutal deaths. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was pretty good. You have just a lot of your, your, your a lot of, but if you're hoping for a lot of your side characters to get like some spotlight, it really didn't. Uh, like a lot of the people in, that are involved in people's lives, like I thought Claire was going to do more, Colleen would do more, uh, Foggy, uh, a lot of these people really played like really small roles in this. I guess it's because like you have four main characters that you have to bring together and that should be the main focus, which, which it was. So a lot of the side characters didn't really do much. There was one thing that happened to one side character that I think a lot of people are going to be excited about it moving forward in like this Marvel Netflix universe, I guess is what you're gonna call it. So yeah, like I said, like did you looking for the side characters to do a lot, they really weren't wasn't a part of it that much. But they, they were in it, but they wasn't a part of the like the bigger scheme. In some sense they were, but you know, they they really didn't play like a huge role in all of this. So, yeah, like I said, I enjoyed it. It was good to me. Uh, like I said, I put it in the middle. Uh, Jessica Jones did for me. It's still my favorite one, followed by Daredevil. I don't know which, because like the season, I felt like season one was more complete, uh, but I like season two better, uh, up until like episode 10 or 11. Uh, and I, I think Luke Cage, I like it up to like episode six or seven, but it seems to like fall off a little bit. Not, it wasn't as good with Carmine with that. It was still good, but it wasn't as good. So this kind of like falls in the middle for me of like Netflix mob series. So, so Jessica Jones is, is great. And you have Danny Rand, which is probably the tail end because that didn't pick up to like episode seven, which it, it got slightly better, but it didn't great. And a lot of characters return in this. Uh, and I, I, and you, if you watch any other Marvel Netflix show, you, I think you would enjoy it. I think I think it's good enough for you to enjoy. 
uh, better than some and, and less than others. I don't think it's the best uh, of the of the Marvel Netflix shows at all, but I think it's a, it's a very good watch. Uh, if you have nothing to do one evening, uh, I'll, I'll advise Ben's watching this. You know, you'll get a kick out of it. Uh, but that's all for this review. Uh, let me know what you thought down in the comments. What was your favorite part of the series if you watched it so far and did I make you want to go see it? So hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Till next time.